disclaimer. This instructional video is prepared for professional medical practitioners undertaking clubfoot deformity treatment and care in babies and children. Clubfoot treatment is a specialized medical intervention and should only be undertaken by medical professionals specifically trained and skilled in the technique and licensed by the appropriate legal and medical regulatory bodies in their jurisdiction. Hello, my name is Dr. Norgrove Penny. This video is about the Ponsetti method of clubfoot care and where do you put your fingers? I've had the opportunity to teach Ponsetti clubfoot care many, many times in many locations in North America, in Europe, in Asia, and in Africa. Many times to young doctors early in their experience with clubfoot treatment. What I found is many times these young physicians and professionals are very knowledgeable about the science and the principles of the Ponsetti method, but lack confidence in knowing where do you actually put your fingers? How do you actually hold the foot? How do you actually do that manipulation? And so I have learned over the years a particular method of being able to teach this such that uh, a young doctor can learn quickly how to do the Ponsetti method of clubfoot care. Early in my clubfoot career, I had the great privilege and opportunity to work with Dr. Ponsetti in Iowa on several occasions. I recognized what a great master he was in this technique, an artisan, a sculptor. I thought of him like Michelangelo, and I wanted to somehow try and learn how to be, if not as good, at least try and be as good as him. And so I watched his hands closely, I watched his maneuvers, and I photographed them, trying to learn from him how to be a great master in clubfoot manipulation. And out of that has grown this experience of how to teach the Ponsetti method to younger doctors and pass on this information from generation to generation. Can we all be great artists like Dr. Ponsetti in order to get the great results he had? One of the first things I noticed watching Dr. Ponsetti was how gentle he was. I couldn't get over how gentle he was. It looked as if he was doing nothing, as if he was hardly holding the foot, while I had tried very hard to manipulate and use too much pressure. So the very first principle that we learn from Dr. Ponsetti is to be gentle, much more gentle than you expect. I'll show you a little trick that I've learned about how gentle to be. Take your thumb, and with your other hand, put your thumb at the base of the metacarpophalangeal joint and abduct the thumb gently, just to where it doesn't want to go any further and feel that amount of pressure. What does it take to get to the end of the excursion of the joint? That's as much pressure as you need to correct a club foot. If you try and press harder, I think you can tell you're not gaining any more range of motion at the thumb base but you might, might cause yourself pain or stress. Well, it's the same in a baby. Just take it to where it doesn't want to go anymore and just hold it in that position without any added pressure. Remember, all the little bones in a baby's foot are made of cartilage and they can be easily crushed. So be gentle, be very gentle. Now I'm going to demonstrate the hand positions and finger positions for correcting a club foot. First on a rubber model, one of Dr. Ponsetti's rubber models, then on a newborn baby with a normal foot, and then in an African clubfoot clinic in the real live situation of a busy day in the clubfoot clinic. This is one of the foot models that Dr. Ponsetti designed for us. I really advise lots of practice until you get really familiar with moving your hands around on a rubber model before thinking to do it on a baby. So the first step is to find the fibula and move in front of it with the thumb or the index and the opposite digit, in this case the index, elevates the first ray and abducts it. Now the opposite hand can mold around behind the calcaneus and around the fibular malleolus, not over top of it, but around it with short little dabby steps like this. And then the index comes and replaces the thumb. And the thumb comes around to replace the index under the first metatarsal. Now the opposite hand can mold behind around the medial malleolus. 
And as it comes forward, this index is going to replace the thumb, and the thumb is going to come over and replace the index, and now we're back to where we began. And this movement back and forth allows for the checking of the cast on both sides and the molding of it. Mold also up into the arch to make a little arch, and once again, keep changing the fingers. Becoming ambidextrous as you do the cast connect corrections, Index to thumb, thumb to index. Index to thumb, thumb to index. Molding all the time. It's very important at this stage that you use the fleshy, flat part of your thumb, the fleshy, flat part of your index finger, and not pinch. Pinching will cause a pressure area over the uh, bony prominences. So you learn to use a large surface area of your thumb and index finger. Now we're going to see how to hold the foot in a live baby. In this case, I'm using a baby with a normal foot to make it a little easier to see how you hold your fingers when you do the manipulation. This is a baby that's two months old. Now what we're going to do here is find the head of the fibula, move the thumb just a little in front of that, making sure not to go distal, making sure to go in front. Thumb on there, index finger underneath the first metatarsal, elevating it and abducting. That's the Ponsetti maneuver to correct the club foot. Now once the foot is corrected that way, then the index finger can be molding behind and comes to the thumb and the thumb to the index. The index finger can be molding behind, comes to the thumb, and the thumb to the index. Now this next little bit of video was taken in the Clubfoot Clinic in Kampala, Uganda, and it's showing the application of the Ponsetti handholds in the actual clinic environment. So now we can see the thumb is put onto the head of the talus and the index is under the first metatarsal, dorsiflexing it and abducting it. The index of the opposite hand is molding behind and around. That index comes to the thumb. The thumb comes around and replaces the index. This index now molds. You can see the area that needs molding in and around there. The index then comes to the thumb and the thumb comes to the index. Index to thumb, thumb to index. And that way one can be molding the whole time and shifting positions nicely. Up until now, we've been talking about the corrective maneuver and where to put your fingers for the corrective maneuver. And these are single hand positions, either the left hand or the right hand holding the foot. But how do you apply a cast if your thumb or index finger is in the way over the head of the talus. This is now where you need to shift to a two-hand technique to apply the cast and the cast under wrap. Once the foot is in position, now the cast under wrap can be rolled, keeping the fingers in place just over the toes. Then the cast can be applied, once again keeping the fingers in position. And once the cast is on in that position, the thumb comes out from underneath the toes to the head of the talus. The index comes out underneath the first metatarsal. And the other hand can then be molding the cast behind, behind the calcaneus to the head of the talus. The thumb coming underneath the first metatarsal. Now the index molding behind, coming around the medial malleolus, replacing the thumb under the first metatarsal the thumb coming and replacing the index, once again molding, molding behind the calcaneus and around the lateral malleolus. It's just so natural for the index finger to come forward, sliding across the plaster to the thumb and replacing the thumb using the fleshy part of the finger and the thumb coming around and replacing that index finger under the first metatarsal and now it can be molded behind again. At the end, you can see there's molding here, capturing the calcaneus, keeping the heel down, and you can see the fibula right here. We've not come across it, we've come around it, so you can see the shape of the fibula here. 
And as we look on the other side of the foot, there's the hollow behind here. We've come around the medial malleolus, and we've got a little arch in the foot there as well. So that the shape of the cast very much is the shape of the foot. And that's what we're trying to achieve, a well-molded cast, well-molded, not cylindrical. This is a baby undergoing its third casting. So the first thing is to find the head of the talus by moving in front of the fibula and doing a reduction. Then putting the thumb on the head of the uh, talus, gaining, keeping the reduction, and sliding the thumb up towards the top end of the fibula, holding some pressure on the fibular head. The big toe and the second toe are held gently between the index and the thumb of the other hand as the underwrapping and then the cast is applied. The fingers are kept under the underwrap while the cast is put on, quite snugly, holding the toes gently and holding the thumb at the head of the fibula in order to maintain the reduction while the cast is being applied. This way, the thumb and the fingers are not in the way of the person putting the cast on. And then as soon as the cast is on, the thumb is slipped out from underneath the cast and applied to the head of the talus, to the prominence of the head of the talus, and the index finger will come out and go to the underside. There's the thumb coming up to the head of the talus, the index under the first metatarsal, elevating and abducting it. And now the opposite hand is molding behind the calcaneus and around the fibula, and the index comes to the thumb and the thumb to the index, the opposite hand molding around the back of the cast and then coming under the medial malleolus and replacing the thumb. Dr. Ponsetti always emphasized that the cast needs to be a well-molded cast. So it is important, as the cast is setting up, that you gently press around the bony prominences, not over top of them, creating the shape of the foot and containing the calcaneus so that the foot doesn't slide up in the cast. At the end, the cast should look like a foot and not like a cylinder. Once the lower end of the cast is applied, the upper part can be applied easily. Now, what I've shown you here today is just one way of doing the Ponsetti manipulation. There are many different ways you can put your fingers, but I think if you practice this particular method and get really comfortable with it, you'll be well on your way to treating club feet very, very capably. With time, as you gain experience, you may learn slightly different ways of holding your fingers. As I watch other experienced practitioners, I see different ways that they hold the foot. And that's obviously uh, quite all right. If you look at great artists, they all have their own particular way of doing their art. So there are adaptations. At the end of the day, I actually couldn't make my fingers do exactly what Dr. Ponsetti did. My fingers were different than his, and he had his own unique way of doing things and had many variations of it. So I had to learn my own way based on his technique. Here is a photograph of a good colleague of mine in Africa that I know is very expert in doing clubfoot manipulation, and you can see how his hands are on the baby's foot a little different than my hands. So once, the, once you're very capable doing the a corrective maneuver, using all the principles we've shown you today, by all means, you can begin to adapt your own hand positions. So now let's go over some of these principles again, the important principles in where you put your fingers. Number one, be gentle. Be very, very gentle, more gentle than you think is gentle. Number two, Use the fleshy, soft parts of your fingers and thumb to hold the foot. Don't pinch. Don't create a pressure area. Number three, find the fibular malleolus and move your thumb or index finger forward of this, anterior to this,
to find the head of the talus. Be very careful not to move distal down the lateral border of the foot. Now what we're going to do here is find the head of the fibula, move the thumb just a little in front of that, making sure not to go distal, making sure to go in front. Thumb on there, index finger underneath the first metatarsal, elevating it and abducting. That's the Ponsetti maneuver to correct the club foot. Number four, learn to be ambidextrous. Use both hands. Use them interchangeably. Change hands many times during your manipulation and molding. Number five, mold carefully around the calcaneus and around the malleoli. Don't mold over top of them where you can create a pressure sore. Mold around them, carefully tapping the cast so that you do not create a pressure area over the bony prominences. At the end of the day, the cast should look like a foot and not like a cylinder. Let's all aspire to be great artists like Dr. Ponsetti. Let's practice where to put the fingers our entire lives so that we get better and better and better at it and become the new Michelangelo's. On behalf of the Global Clubfoot Initiative, I hope this video has helped launch you on a career taking care of children with club feet to give them expert care and to make you a, an expert practitioner, an artist just like Dr. Ponsetti.